If you're in the market to buy a home and you're looking at interest rates today, mortgage rates, it's some of the highest that we've seen in the last several years, though it still is historically low. But what I'm really confused about is really two things. Number one, who decided that being in debt was a good idea? And number two, why are we looking at ARM mortgages again, adjustable rate mortgages to entice buyers to buy now? So guys, we're in a recession. Maybe we are, maybe we aren't, but uh, we kind of feel that we are, right? I mean, it, things are more expensive now than they have been. We're really feeling it. We're feeling it at the gas pump. We're feeling it at the grocery store. We're looking at home prices. Buyers, if you've been in the market to buy, you've been outpriced. You haven't had enough cash in a lot of cases to compete with the cash buyers and the crazy prices that we've seen over the last 18 months. We're gonna talk about now what it's like to buy a house, to finance that house. Is it gonna remain affordable? Are you locked in for the entire mortgage period of 30 years or not? And guys, so what happened through the history of the US with housing prices is yes, they've continually gone up in value. This is permanence of investment. This is why we invest in housing. And in fact, why sometimes it's the only investing that most Americans do in their entire lifetime. They hope to buy a house at a decent price, gain appreciation through the years, and then when they go to sell it and move on, make a little profit on the investment, that house that they have been living in, and uh, at the end of the day, make some money to move on to their next house or to cash out and retire somewhere and downsize. But guys, what we're talking about right now is that Interest rates have been on the rise since the Fed started out this year saying, hey, we need to change the current situation. The inflation's out of control. And the way we're going to do that is raise what the Federal Reserve Bank you know, lends, raise that percentage that they lend money to other banks. And what that has caused is interest rates all across the board to rise. We're seeing it not only in our credit cards and our car loans, but we're also seeing it in the largest purchase that we make, and that's our mortgage. Guys, we've seen where since just three or four months ago, 30, 40, 50% more are the payments that buyers are paying depending on their credit and cash down for their home. So with all that being said, buyers are looking at alternatives for financing and the banks are enticing these buyers with different programs, different mortgage programs. 78% of the buyers have currently pulled out of the market. And now what we are seeing coming back and gaining speed is the adjustable rate mortgage, the ARM. And it really started in the 1980s. So the adjustable rate mortgage, the ARM, back in the 1980s was created because in the 70s, we had a period of just stagnation where no one was selling. They had purchased their houses for record low interest rates. And then in the 80s, we saw craziness take place where interest rates shot up into double digits, mortgage rates shot up to 18% at some of the highest levels. And and basically, no one was moving. Why would they? Why would they sell their home where they have a great interest rate and buy something and pay a lot more for a less of a house? So the banks, to keep their little you know machines moving, right? To keep us in debt, to encourage us to continue to move, what they did was they came out with this great idea that, hey, if you move now and you sell, we'll keep those interest rates that you bought in the 70s, we'll keep those interest rates locked in for five years because certainly the interest rates that we're seeing today are gonna change, they're gonna come down. And a lot of people took the bait, they took the hook. And you know, if they didn't sell, and a lot of people were saying, well, hey, you know, we'll upsize, and then in five years we'll refinance to a better interest rate. And then, oops, if it doesn't actually go down and it hit that 18%, well, now we're screwed. So if we, you know, refinance for five years at 7% and we got into the mid 1980s, you know, 85, 86, we started seeing double digit interest rates. All of a sudden our arm expired and boom, now we're paying ridiculous amounts of money for a housing that we can't afford. Now we're going to be forced to sell or risk foreclosure. 
Mm -hmm. Knowing this risk, I mean, we know what happened in 2008, but in January, 3% of the loans, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association, 3% of all loans were ARM loans. And now as of the beginning of July, we are at 9.5%. I think that's a substantial increase. And what you have to look at, guys, is a couple things. So these banks are going to say to you like, hey, you know, how long are you going to stay in your house, right? So the average American homeowner stays in their house seven to nine years. We do through the history of time see that increase and decrease based on job transfers, you know, job market, people, their life changing, needing bigger houses because they're having children, things like that. Or we see where, you know, the affordability, they just can't move. They can't sell their house. The house prices are down. They can't get out of it. So a lot of times they'll even move family into their existing house. So we see a lot of multi-generational uh, type of living now. Uh, but guys, what happens is the bank will say to you like, hey, I tell you what, if you need to buy now, because the interest rates are higher and the home price now, the affordability isn't there for you, you would qualify for an arm. So we'll lock you in at this low rate for five years. And certainly you'll probably sell within that time period. But if you don't, then you know um, it will adjust to whatever that market is. And they're probably going to come back down again. Guys, probably not. Our mortgages are incredibly risky. I mean, I don't know many people that know where they're going to be in five, seven, 10 years. Sure, you may have a great idea, but things happen and not everything goes according to plan. So it is very risky. Let's take a look at the interest rate chart over the last almost 50 years. As you can see here, guys, we had hit just six months ago, a year ago, we had hit some of the lowest interest rates in the history of mortgages in the United States. Interest rates actually went down the 30 year mortgage at 2.75%, completely unrealistic and not practical. That's one of the reasons that drove the US housing prices to all time highs. In fact, we saw more increase in the last two years in home median sales prices than we did in the Great Recession that hit us in 2008, which was a huge housing market crash. We exceeded the rate of appreciation in median sales prices. Of course, these prices are going to correct. Of course, they're going to adjust. And guys, I want to tell you something. An arm is not a good idea in any circumstance, in my opinion, you want to lock in on a 30 year fixed mortgage because you don't know what life's going to give you. Just like Melissa said, you don't know how long you're going to stay there. You have no idea. It may be longer than you anticipate. You can always refinance. Guys, make sure you're getting the best home price now. And if you're looking for assistance with that, you don't have an agent, feel free to reach out. If you're in Maryland, we'll help you ourselves. If you're anywhere else in the country. We have an amazing broker network. We'll be glad to point you to an agent in your city. So there you have it, guys. You know, do your research, really reach out to your lenders, get as much information as possible, and don't rush just to make a decision just because you want to get in the house. Take your time. Don't be enticed by those uh, advertisements. I mean, we know all of them, right? They, we get the credit card things in the mail that says, oh, transfer all of your account balances to this credit card and you're gonna be locked in at 0% interest for X amount of months and guess what? Bam! You exceed that period of time, the interest rates go higher than you would expect it, higher than what you were paying in the first place. Guys, we appreciate you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. It'll let Melissa and I know that you did. Please keep those comments and questions coming. We love them. We love reading them. We love hearing your stories, seeing where you are in the country. And we always appreciate when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the alert bell and you'll be notified every time we upload content just like this video. See you next time. See you next time. Sachs Realty, Maryland broker number 607720, office number 443-318-4514, equal housing opportunity.